Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Yesterday at this time, we were watching a Bering Sea Monster out around Sand Point, uh, about 950 millibars or so. This afternoon, it's up to 962, and while still a very healthy storm, uh, the storm is filling in and weakening slowly and surely. As we go through the afternoon, winds are still the focus for the central and eastern Aleutian chain. Strong northwesterlies have been clocked upwards of 40 to even 50 miles per hour at times, but the most dangerous winds seem to have subsided. Storm energy from that circulation is pushing out over the Gulf of Alaska and rumbles of thunder and lightning have been seen out across the Gulf of Alaska and in the inside of southeastern Alaska around Petersburg and points south and it should continue on and off throughout the rest of the evening tonight. A look into the south central region shows the front has pushed ashore and with that heavy snow showers found around Seward and Valdez that should continue and could bring you several inches of snow as we go through the tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, periods of snow showers should continue there for the the foreseeable future tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, periods of rain and snow may mix across northern parts of southeast. The bulk of your precipitation, though, will likely be rainfall. And again, rumbles of thunder uh, could be possible as we go through the rest of the nighttime hours. For the interior, it's been more clouds and snow showers, but there is a little bit of snow to be found across the Yukon Delta and the south-facing slopes of the Brooks Range. Snow showers continue across the Alaska Range, but a look out west shows another Bering Sea storm. We'll work into the western part of the ocean as we uh, get into Thursday afternoon. Nine 961 millibars will be the mark by tomorrow afternoon with another front working its way toward ADAC. A strong south and westerly flow setting up will bring more rain to your region and gusty winds at times, but so far nothing too severe. Periods of rain and snow showers will be back for Attu and eventually uh, you'll see some of that moving through St. Paul and St. George, but it looks like the bulk of your precipitation starting in the afternoon hours tomorrow will be mainly rain for the Pribilovs. For Friday, the front moves into the YK Delta and into Bristol Bay. Rainfall expected along the coast, but inland and perhaps around Bethel, snow is more likely there, and winds will start to kick up from the south once again, and for places like Norton Sound and the Chukchi Coast and the Seward Peninsula, all eyes will be watching the wind and the snow combined. Right now, a winter storm watch is posted for the Bering Strait communities, uh, St. Lawrence Island included, for 5 to 8 inches of snow and as much as 14 in some cases there, we'll be watching the wind in the Chukchi Coast uh, for potential uh, blizzard conditions. That's a look at your Alaska statewide weather. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at weather.gov.